Good morning. Morning. Actually, good afternoon, almost. Almost after. Good morning. <laughs> it's my name. Yes, my name. From the dolphin. Whoa. We are headed to Epcot today for Festival of the Holidays. Mm, indeed, we are. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're going to Epcot today. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we will show you around World Showcase, see what uh, what the haps is, mm -hmm. what sort of wonderful cheer is going on. And what debauchery we can get up to. That kind. Yeah. So let's head to the boat and we'll Rock see and you roll. in the cot. One hour after park closed. Back to the Hollywood Studios will be at 9.30 last night at Epcot Resort at 11 o'clock. That's a lie, they were definitely running later last night. If you want to stay in Epcot after 11 o'clock, we do have a nice walkway to cover all the Epcot Resort needs. All right, we're in the park. We made it in safely. And we're gonna go see if there's some merch. Or if all the scalpers took it. Yeah. There might not be as much in here, but there is a little like stanchion out here, so it's possible. We'll see. Let's see. We Right. Oh, they have a little holiday cookie stroll, like That's cute. cookie jar. I like it. It's adorable. Oh, it's Olaf. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they have little magic bands mm -hmm. back there too. They're blue and say Limited Fest Epcot Festival of the Holidays 2021. Some tins. Cute, cute, cute. Let's see, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's a better, better look. Cute. Mm, pretty cool stuff. I wonder if we'll do, maybe we'll do the cookie stroll this year. Maybe. I feel like eating myself for that. I really do like this hoodie. It's cute. It is a pass holder only thing. Oh, bummers. Therefore, We're not pass holders right now. Sucks. <laughs> Epcot International Festival of the Holidays, and it's oh, I love these new fuzzy ones. They're really cool. I got a green one. It's that time of the year. Oh, this is a cute one. Oh, I love it. It's so soft. Meg might get another spear jersey. Maybe. <laughs> I usually don't get any of like the hot like specific event ones, but, oh, look, I get, I'm, I'm seeing a theme of Olaf, Olaf everywhere. Just frozen in general, to be honest with you. But mostly Olaf. Yeah. And what's that, Sven? Is Sven the, I don't know. the sure. reindeer? <laughs> the mug is cute. Maybe I'll get the mug. I need some more big mugs. And it says 50 on the bottom. Cute. Oh. I don't know. There's a mug set. I don't know. I can't. Because uh, it like stacks. Yeah, it's odd. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, three piece cookie jar. So you can put three different cookies. Okay, okay. Three cookies alone. And that's it. Nothing else. Ornaments. Cute. I like it. 
And you know, your classic, classic t-shirts and water bottles and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. We have our festival of the holidays passport and we made our selections of what we are hoping to get. But first stop, we're gonna head on over to the Yukon Holiday Kitchen because they seem to have some good stuff this year. It is quite busy here today, friends. Look at this line. It goes beyond the ropes. I can zoom on a live video. That's fun. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Right, so I need a cake, a scallop, and a cookie. It's okay. Thank you. So, here we have the maple bouche de Noël. This is the scallops with the parsnip silk. The Snickers doodle cookie. And the beer flight. We're gonna try this scallop first. Let's get a little bit of that parsnip silk. A little, of, I can't remember what's on top of it. You wanna just bite it? Yeah. It's got like a sweet flavor to it. Oh, that's unexpected. That's good. They're a, like not as like buttery in terms of consistency as I usually like scallops, but they're still tasty. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Sweet. That's good. So I'm assuming. This uh, way? Probably this way. No. Because that's the way the card was stuck in. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Alright. That looks like a coffee beer. Alright, all the way across then. Starting with the 81 Bay Brewing Company Maple Cinnamon Coffee Beer from Tampa, Florida. Definitely from Canada. <laughs> There are flavors in that. Good or bad? Actually really good. Good. Yeah, that's not offensive. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> Back to that one. Then we have the Playa Linda Brewing Company. Playa Linda. Playa Linda Brewing Company Maple Cookie Blonde Ale from Titusville, Florida. Titsville. <laughs> I don't have any maple in that. No? I want to try that. Because that was the one I was interested in. I got very cookie. I didn't It's good. I do like it. That's weirdly refreshing. Yeah, maybe the maple just adds a little bit of sweetness. It's just a very, it, I don't taste it much either. Yeah, All right, then the actual Canadian beer. Ah. The one that he said was the uh, the dark horse of the beers, the guy at out front. Oh, Will? Yeah, Will. This is the Collective Arts Stranger Than Peanut Butter and Banana Porter from Hamilton, Ontario, Can Canada. 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 Looks thick. That's what she said. Ooh, a lot of flavors in that. Yeah. Not something I could drink like an entire beer of, but like this is like the perfect amount of it. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Can you taste the banana and the peanut butter? Shockingly, yeah. More the banana than the peanut butter, but it's really okay. good. Yeah, banana can be a really overwhelming flavor. It kind of reminds me of a thicker version of... Um, the peanut butter rain cloud? Yes, mixed with the Banana Grams Banana Ale from Narragansett a few years ago. Oh, okay. Cool. Excuse me. Yeah, I think um, my favorite is probably the Maple Cookie Blonde Ale, though. Yeah, that was the one I tried, but I'll have to give the other ones a shot, too. So there you go, kids. But I want to try the cake now. I'm going to try and get a little of everything here. Oh, it's like soft. I thought it would be like a crispy I thought it was going to be a This crispy. one's crispy, but this part's not. It's like nice and gooey. All right, got a little of everything. I'm really excited. All right. It has, I think it has a gingerbread flavor too, right? I think so, yeah. I could be wrong. Wow. 
Yeah? That is fantastic. Ooh. Oh my god. Do they have to-go containers? Right. <laughs> wow. That is really, really good. Oh. Very cool. It's like, that, it's a subtle gingerbread flavor. You can definitely taste the chocolate on the outside. It's like a nice, rich chocolate, but yep. like a thin layer, so it's not overwhelming. Cool. And you get that like cranberry flavor and the maple mousse. It's all, it all just like blends together really, really nicely to create like a really good mix of like Sweet, little spice, little like tartness, chocolate. Mm. Wow. I would definitely get that again and probably will to take it home for later. Nice, I'm excited <laughs> to try it. Okay. So we're doing our own festival pairings now. <laughs> yeah, so we did the uh, the chocolate log, the Bosch with uh, the maple cinnamon coffee beer. That is a pairing and a half. Uh, it's very good. I'm hit or miss on coffee beers, but that with the the yeah, boosh is like. You gotta give it one of these guys. Just take a, perfect. Take a dab. It really just tastes like you're drinking like a really nice, rich coffee drink. It's so good. That. I mean, that's uh, that's a perfect pairing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna try the Snickers Doodle cookie, which I'm assuming is a Snickerdoodle cookie with just Snickers on top. That's what it looks like, with a little drizz. Mmm, yeah. it's very soft. I like it. Nice, I love soft cookies. I'm not about that like snap life, this except so Oreos. Hot cocoa. Oh yeah. Oh, I bet. Ooh, a Snickers hot chocolate sounds really good. They used to have a Snickers flavored like latte or coffee or something when I lived in Colorado in Alamosa, the Blessed Brews. Oh yeah. Good pairing. Actually amazing. That makes sense. Actually amazing. Yeah, cookie, cookie. Good work everyone. We did it. I wonder if the banana one went with the scallops. Although there was a beef thing too, I think, on it. Mm. That's really good. What's the icing on it? I don't know. Almost like a... Reminds me of your gingerbread bars. Oh, like a cream cheese kind of thing? It might be a cream cheese, but it's really good. Okay. It doesn't taste super cream cheesy. Got my mouth as well. I'm looking at the birds just swarming. Oh, wow. There you go, now you can see them. Whoa, scary. I mean, that's cool as hell. Now, they normally perform in Future World when it was here. Well, it's all construction. I know. I mean, this is a cool I spot. Like, I, I I mean, they get a bigger stage out here. Awesome, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Whoa, uh, look at that beauty. Really good. Gorgeous. Yeah, let's, let's take the sip right out of the gate. That is so refreshing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice. I want to get a better close up here. Mm. Oh my god. A little rosemary sprig. That hits so good on a warm rim. day. Mm. I'll have to give it a sip. Yeah, I really like this. I was intrigued, but not interested. Yeah. I don't know. Like I told Meg, I'm here to try weird shit. This is what I got. Weird <laughs> shit, and I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just don't know how, like usually margarita to me is like not cinnamon sugar rim, but you know, whatever. We uh, we do, we it's really do good. the things. Really, really good. And the places, and the, with the stuff. So here I was thinking, maybe we'll go on Frozen. We're in the Norway now. area. Wait. Oh, it just went down, sorry. So maybe it's a little bit more acceptable now at 150 minutes. <laughs> it was 165. What? That's no. That's a big no. 
Absolutely not. So also me standing here, I wonder how this spot would be watching um, Harmonious. I, it seemed pretty open last night, and I feel like it'd probably be pretty good. Yeah, I feel like you got good views of uh, all four of the outside things, and you might be able to... S like half of the middle one. Yeah, like I'm interested. But it seems like much closer than the other one. Yeah, no, this is... It would probably be a good spot, honestly. Having all night to think about it, that was a lot of fun. I really it enjoyed it. Really, really good. I think it's definitely worth staying late to watch. I agree. Coming back to watch. Like if it, we can try to swing it again before we leave, I probably will. Yeah, like it's, it's no illuminations, better. but this but is it's fun. a very fun successor to it. Yeah, like I will definitely come see it again because it's enjoyable and like. I mean, Illuminations isn't coming back. They literally dismantled the globe, so like. Yeah, we saw pictures. It was we sad. Can do. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's definitely definitely worth it. So we'll see you in China. Maybe. Not gonna say what it is. No, I was giving him the show first. Pork schnitzel with stuff. I don't know what. Schnitzel and braised red cabbage with that. mushroom sauce. Ooh boy, and a apple cider. Hard apple cider. Hard apple cider. And then a cookie for Kim. We got a cookie for Kim. Let this be known if the cookie gets messed up, it was in good shape. <laughs> All right, let's let Meg start first. Oh, smells great. Can you? Oh shit, we didn't get the thing Stamp. stamped. Uh, I can go back. That's fine. All I'm right. not going to get them all anyway. That's fair. We got to get a picture first. Cam reads first. All right, porch schnitzel. Here we go. I couldn't figure out if it was the cabbage that stunk. No, it's just the water. <laughs> just the water stinks. What do you want? It's Florida. I got a little spencer, no little I'm probably glad. Ooh, that was exciting. The mushroom sauce is delicious. Oh, good. Is it overtly mushroomy? That's good. No. Very nice. Let me try a little of this cabbage. Yep. See if it's flavorful or just cabbage. <laughs> mm. This one sounds so weird, but it almost tastes like applesauce. What? I don't know. It tastes like applesauce. So I it's didn't really, expect that. It's really sweet. If I told you this was like a roasted pear or something, you would I would believe it. I want you to try it. All right. Here, take a little bite. Right. What is that? You said cabbage? <laughs> Raised red cabbage. Bullshit, that's applesauce. <laughs> I told you, that's so crazy. That doesn't make any sense. I know. Well, I want Evan to try some of this, so. Okay, bye. This did, is what we do. Did you want any of the... I don't need it. Like, I'm, I'm not feeling kebab still. Okay. So you can give that the big X out. Okay. We can always come back at some point, too. Yeah, and just get a new passport, because Meg is now graffiti tagging it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I think we wanted to get the noodles from Japan, but that's good. We're headed that way, way anyway. Uh, we don't need the American stuff. X it out. <laughs> I mean, we're American. Oh, you want the margarita? I would Where like to get it to as I walk by it. There we are. Don't need any of that. That's Already great. did. Oh, I forgot to check that off. Check it off. Cool. Don't need the nuts. <laughs> and don't need donuts. Okay, so we just need to stop at Italy and Japan. Japan. And maybe we'll get another tea or something. So hear that, kids? We're making progress. Say something to the people, Meg. What up? <laughs> okay. Kim, we are going to extreme measures. We're band-aiding <laughs> the plates together. Hopefully this stays and doesn't make a huge mess. I don't even know where that just went. Did it just blow away already? Oh man, am I littering? Maybe I shoved it back in. I think you shoved it back in, if I'm seeing my eyes correctly. <laughs> Seeing your I'm eyes? In, yeah, Can shut you up. See your own eyes? Hello, here's two. Yeah, but where's the wrapper? It's gone for good. Thank you. So, you're welcome, Kim. 
Don't forget the things we did for this. <laughs> to survive. I'm using the little ones. <laughs> I mean, this is this is so janky. She's gonna be like, what happened? Well, we're gonna give it to her like this. Yeah. And you'll see the reaction days later. This is the shrimp ravioli. With shrimp. And ravioli. And ravioli. I don't remember what else is in it, but and, here we uh, go. And there was like a garlic white wine. Like yeah. Sauce with it smells really good. And then this is the Italian red, red margarita. sangria. Margarita. I have sangria. the Italian margarita. Pretty good. Not as good as the Mexico ones that they've had in the past, but very close second. Good. It's a little bit more citrusy. Ah, so more fruit than brandy. Um, I feel like in the past it's had more, like the Mexican ones tended to have more of like a plum flavor, which was really good. This one has a little bit more of that orange flavor, I think. Cool. Which isn't bad. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's definitely more citrusy than, it, than the other one. Something you would drink again, though? Oh, yeah. I mean, I love the same thing. <laughs> okay, I gotta try this. I mean, yeah. it looks delicious. I mean, if you can't give me a cross section, it's all good. We'll see. The struggle is real here. I should have gotten a knife too, but I was excited. <laughs> She's working. She's working hard. Whoa, working for a living. And then while Meg's doing this, I got the Italian margarita again, because why wouldn't I? Let me see if I can open it up a little bit. Kind of. Yeah, there you go. Hang on. Yeah, there you go. You got some shrimp in there. That looks good. That's good. Is it citrusy? Like, what's it? What are we looking like? It's like a very subtle seafood flavor. Very cool. And I think that's a little chunk of shrimp right now. Let me get some of that. Oh, nice. But you definitely have like... Yeah, that's a little shrimp chunk. Good. I can definitely taste the like garlic white wine sauce, but yeah, it's not a super strong citrus flavor. It's like, I think like a very well balanced mix of the flavors. Very it's cool. It's not too heavy on seafood or garlic or citrus or cheese. It's like really good. I think this is one of my, one of the better ravioli options they've had. Sometimes it's just like- Sleeper hit basic. ravioli. But yeah, this, <laughs> is, this is really good. Very nice. Yeah, and if you're not like a huge seafood fan, I think you'd still like this. Oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. I got the Italian margarita, it tastes the same as last uh, last time I got it, so. Thumbs up! Yeah, that's that's really good. I'm gonna have to take a bite. Definitely. Folks, it's Santa. We did it, we made it. The claws himself. All right, we're at the Japanese pavilion. The Japan pavilion. Hopefully we'll get to Japan. In real life, not here. We're obviously here. Yeah. What he said. And as we said in our previous video, we're looking for mochi. Alright, we found a stack of mochi. Meg's picking up pineapple, peach. Apple? Never had apple. Yeah, that's probably delicious. Okay, I think these apple, peach, and pineapple. Usually, there's a mango one in the blend that I like. Yes. Like, but I don't see All right. So. There you go. Yeah, I know. Multi flavored Kit Kats. The ones I wish we had here.
Forking it. We got the New Year celebration soba with a dashi broth and shrimp tempura. And Evan got the chocolate Tokyo banana. Yes, which sir. Has alcohol. I'll try that right out of the gate. You've been liking the banana stuff today, I guess. <laughs> that is dangerous. Oh boy. Ooh, that just tastes like banana and chocolate in a drink. That's wildly dangerous. <laughs> it's really good though. I want to try the shrimp first. I've been dying to try shrimp shrimp tempura, but I've never had it. Oh, I think you'd like it, yeah. Mm. Just fried shrimp. I love the coating. That's really good. It's like a wheat soda. That is very good. Oh, good. I think, is this the fish? Is that what they said? I don't know, but it's funny looking. Oh, you're right in front of me. I mean, just, yeah, just eat it. What was that? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Just fish? Fish-ish. Fish-ish. Fit-ish. Oh, can I get 10 more of just these? <laughs> well, don't eat it all. I won't. All right. We're gonna dive in. Really all righty. I think that's it for Festival of the Holidays. Absolutely, it was all delicious. Yeah, I don't think we had a single bad thing, which is awesome. No, no, there was nothing I was like, ah, throw it out. Yeah, we finished just about everything. The, yeah. the sweets at the beginning, I think, was a bad idea because we kind of got like sweets overloaded. And it first. almost set us up for failure, but we worked through it. Yeah, we, we, got, we got past that. Yeah. But we are out of here now. Um, in our next video, you'll see us over Elsewhere. at Hollywood Studios. So be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you are notified when our next video comes out. Absolutely, and uh, let us know if you came to Festival of the Holidays and what your favorite thing was in the comments down below. And then other than that, we'll see you on the road. Bye. Bye.